Hello and welcome to the latest episode of AB Talks, where we speak to global leaders shaping industries and economies around the world. Joining us today, we have His Excellency Dr. Ron Malka, the Director General of Israel's Ministry of Economy and Industry. Thank you, sir, for joining us here today. Good evening. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Just to dive straight into it, Dr. Ron, as Israel continues to welcome UAE entrepreneurs, what are the recent initiatives or incentives that Israel has taken to welcome investors and businesses into Israel from the UAE? Israel is offering a, a few kinds of incentives, investment routes that every uh, UAE member, entrepreneur that would come to uh, would like to come to Israel can do that. And of course, we are uh, facilitating all the way for it for him. And we just uh, initiated, just two weeks ago, we initiated the fund, $100 million mutual fund for Israel and UAE, when entrepreneurs from both Israel and UAE can just apply to this fund, and we are going to support them and to finance those initiatives. Wonderful. We've seen trade grow between the UAE and Israel, especially after the Abraham Accords in fields and industries re relating to diamonds, electrical and electronic goods with re regard to minerals, fuels and oils. In your opinion, is this trade between the two countries likely to grow in 2022 and diversify into other businesses and industries as well? Yes, sure. Yes, as you just mentioned, yes, it's rapidly growing. The volume of trade and collaboration between Israel and UAE is rapidly, is flourishing, is growing very fast. And we are going to see it, as you mentioned, in new sectors. It's going to be in agriculture, agrotech, in water management, and all kinds of technology, of biomed, which is now a, a, a growing a, between our two countries. And I think every aspect of life, what is very important to say about the uh, flourishing relations between Israel and UAE is the fact that it brings benefit not only for UAE and Israel, but for the whole region. Because we have mutual vision, how we share our achievements, uh, our uh, solutions with the region, with our neighbors, how we ease tensions and how we bring benefit to all the region. If I could throw a final curveball in there, um, you've been involved in part in the talks in the establishment of a free trade agreement. Could you give us a little nugget in there? How close are we in the establishment of a free trade agreement between the UAE and Israel? We are progressing very well. Actually, I can say that we've never progressed so fast and so good. Uh, just a week ago, I, I was here in Dubai. I opened the third round of negotiations on FTA. And I think that mostly in three months, which is the fastest that you ever did, we are going to see an FTA signed between our two countries, very wide, very comprehensive, uh, and I think very promising. Thank you once again for joining us here on the show today. Thank you for your insights and such a fruitful conversation. That's a wrap on this episode of AB Talks. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe for more such videos with global leaders.